Hey, Old Boar here. These are my top 10 tips for building a more realistic city in City Skylines. This video is of my series Amherst, which is in Massachusetts. Start by creating a real location map. It's not as hard as you think. It allows you to use satellite imagery and street maps to lay down roads more realistically. With the satellite imagery, you know exactly where to put your buildings and landmarks of the place you love or would love to be. By leaving your map bare in the map editor, you can put in roads and trees and build either to your liking or to whatever your computer can handle. Using detailed satellite imagery has really inspired me to do a lot more in city skylines. Tip 2. Gather and refine a realistic set of assets. This takes quite a bit of time and it's one of the more enjoyable parts of the game. Create realistic tree brushes with Forest Brush Revisited. You can refine your collection over time by using Bob and a skip text file to remove the vanilla game assets. I use the Find It mod and tag my assets to make them easier to find. Step 3 is place a few important features and landmarks. These give you a little bit of inspiration of what you're going to build and they keep you oriented while you're not looking at street maps or satellite imagery. Tip 4. Put in the main transportation network. This you can also do according to how much you want to build or how much your computer can handle. And you'll use your street maps to lay this down. That way you kind of can get into the game and just start to build out your city. Tip 5. Put in a basic layer of trees. Use low poly trees and do this also to whatever your computer can handle. Tip 6. Begin your education and your industry early. If you have these DLCs, that's a great thing. If you don't, you can skip this step. Tip 7. Learn how to use realism mods. These take a little bit of tweaking to get to learn exactly how to make your map look like you want it to. The look of the map is important because it's what inspires you to build. So before you start to do heavy detailing, I suggest you get up between 12 and 15,000 in population. This puts a lot of sims and cars in the game to inspire you as you go along. Tip 8. Add basic scenes of detail as you go. I call these mini scenes and they add nice little touches to different corners of your map and they break up the monotony of building out a city. Tip 9. Connect cargo rail to industry and regular rail to your little cities. You can connect your industry areas to a centralized cargo hub to distribute out to those little cities. It's not only a lot of fun, but it adds a tremendous amount of realism to your game. In my opinion, it's one of the funnest parts of the game, connecting two cities or three together with rail. Tip 10. Use districts and the transfer controller mod to keep complicated road network serviced and to keep those vehicles off your highways. I usually service a district between 3 and 5,000 population with all the major services. If you like these clips that you're seeing in this video, check out the rest of the series called Amherst. And thank you for watching The Old Boar Plays City Skylines. Take care now.